the Bible to the cross from the cross. Every Bible story has three components. First, God's law. Second, God's compassion. Third, God's miracle. Opening your Bible opens miracles. The Bible as one story is holy enough in our lives. Day 288, Matthew 24-25 Jesus' is a story about the end. Jesus told the people about the last judgment day and its signs and warned them to believe the Lord's teachings. First point, Jesus' reference to the end of the world was later recorded by St. John in the island of Patmos. Jesus told his disciples that the Jerusalem temple would fall. As said by Jesus in AD 70, the Jerusalem temple fell in the hands of the Roman Empire under General Titus, with not a single stone on top of the other. After talking about the temple, Jesus then spoke about the ends of the world. Jesus also explained the punishment that would follow with the end of the world. First, the false prophets would appear. Second, was and earthquakes would occur. Third, the false prophets and others would stand to attack the Christians. Fourth, towards the end, the gospel would be spread to the ends of the earth. Then Jesus explained everything about the end. Jesus warned them not to be fooled by the words of the false prophets. The amazing thing here was that many decades later, John recorded all of this in further detail in Revelation. Second point, Jesus taught his disciples about the ends of the earth and then declared that he would come for the second time. Jesus taught his disciples about the ends of the earth and then about his second coming. A few days later, Jesus spoke of his second coming at the Sanhedrin assembly in front of the high priest and the assembly members. After resurrection, Jesus also told them of his second coming again as the angels took him up to heaven. During his second coming, unlike his first coming, he would come with great glory and power. Third point, Jesus declared that the only one to know about the date of his second coming was God. Jesus told his disciples about his second coming and how Christians were to prepare. Jesus added that only God knew of when Jesus' second coming would be, which meant that they were not to be fooled by the false prophets. Jesus then used the parables to teach them how they were to wisely prepare for Jesus' second coming. The first was the parable of the fig tree. The second was the parable of Noah's time. The third was about the second coming, which no one knew about. The fourth was the parable of the housekeeper and the thief. The fifth was the parable of the obedient and evil servant. Fourth point, Jesus taught how Christians were to wait for the second coming of Jesus. Jesus told his disciples that they were to wisely and patiently wait for the second coming of Jesus and use the parables to explain this. The first was the ten virgins. At the time, the kingdom of heaven will be like ten virgins who took their lamps and went out to meet the bridegroom. Five of them were foolish and five were wise. The second was the bags of gold parable. Again, it will be like a man going on a journey, who called his servants and entrusted his wealth to them. Fifth point, Jesus used the parable of the sheep and the goat to explain the standards of God's judgment. Jesus used the parable of the sheep and the goat to explain the standards of God's judgment. God's judgment would fall on all nations. The first would be the sheep on the right. The second would be the goats on the left. Jesus repeated the five acts of good that the sheep on the right carried out, which the goats on the left did not. 
And so Jesus said, Then they will go away to eternal punishment, but the righteous to eternal life. I am so excited that you have in your hands now and on your phones the Tong Doc Bible app. And let me tell you why. Very few people, just a handful of people in the world understand the way Dr. Zhou does. The way that this is one story from Genesis to Revelation. One story. And what does it mean for us to daily live that story as our life story? And he has found a way to do this. We need daily marinating of our mind and the soaking of our spirit in, in the Word of God. And that's why a, a, a Tong Doc Bible is so important. The scriptures, the story, Genesis to Revelation, is the daily mouth-to-mouth breathings of the Spirit of God into humans to make us truly who God made us to be. And that's why this app is so important. This app shows you how to do mouth that God enables God to do mouth to mouth resuscitation on you every day of your life, 365 days a year. I'm so glad you have it. You will feel the healing that comes from mouth to mouth breathings of the Spirit on you as you use this app.